Today we're going to begin looking at a branch of mathematics known as set theory. Set theory studies what we call sets, and a set is simply a collection of related items. In mathematics, those related items are typically numbers or shapes, but they can be a lot of different things. Even outside of mathematics, here I have a set of markers. In your kitchen, you probably have a set of dishes. You may have a Lego set or a dollhouse set. And those are all collections of items that are somehow related. Each item in the set is called an element. So here I have three markers. This set contains three elements. The notation that we use is this little e. And that simply means is an element of. When we write our items, or our elements, we typically, or often at least, use what we call roster notation. Roster notation is simply a list of items. Think of a sports roster or a class roster. A sports roster is just a list of names. That's all this is. Roster notation is a list of names. Rectangle, rhombus, triangle, pentagon. That set, written in roster notation, is simply the names of each of the four shapes. It's important to notice that at the front and at the back, we have squiggly braces. That shows that that's the collection. These things all go together somehow. And we separate them with a comma. Our second example asks us to list some whole numbers. The whole numbers from 1 to 10, inclusive. Inclusive means including, so it means from 1 to 10, including 1 and 10. Here they are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Notice each one is separated by a comma, and we have our braces at the front and the back to show that this is a set. This is a collection of items that goes together. Now, often we'll have to find out if a certain item is contained in a set, or if a certain item is an element of the set. Here we have set A. Set A has these numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And the question is, is 2 an element of set A? In other words, is 2 in set A? Well, yes it is, it's right there. So 2 is an element of set A. On the second question, they ask us, is 5 an element of set A? Well, let's look. No, there's no 5 up there. 5's not up there, therefore 5 is not an element of set A. It's not contained in that group. Example 4 asks you to determine if certain numbers are elements of a given set. Please pause here and try example 4. Let's see how you did. The set given is 1 half, 7, 9, and 9 and 3 fourths. Is 3 fourths an element of set A? No, it's not. There is a 3 fourths, but it's a 9 and 3 fourths. The number 3 fourths is not in set A, therefore it's not an element. What about the number 1 half? Yes, the number 1 half is right there, and therefore 1 half is an element of set A. When we deal with sets, we often look at what we call subsets. A subset is a smaller group of things within a bigger set. Here are my markers again. Notice in this set of markers, I have two reds. The red are contained in this bigger set. The red markers are a subset of this bigger set. When we have a smaller set whose elements are all in a bigger set, we call that a subset. Here's a picture. Set A is in red. It's the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Set B is right here, 7, 8, and 9. Because everything that's in B is in the bigger set, we say that B is a subset of A. The smaller set is called the subset, and the big set that has everything in it is called the superset. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. First thing you'll want to know is some notation. This little C, this sideways C that has the long top and the long bottom, that means subset, is a subset of, or is contained in. 
Example 5 gives us set A, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And they say set B is 2, 6, and 8. Is B a subset of A? Is B contained in A? Well, let's check. 2, yep. 6, yep. 8, yep, it's there. B is a subset of A because all of its elements are also in set A. The second question says, well, what if B is 2, 6, 8, and 9? Well, let's check. 2, yep. 6, yep. So far, so good. 8, yep. 9. 9 is not in A. Because 9 is not in A, B is not a subset of A. Everything that's in B is not in the bigger set, A. There's the next example for you to try. Please pause here. Let's see how you do on that. Let's take a look. Example number six. They give you set A, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, and thirteen. And they said B is three, seven, eleven, and fifteen. Is B a subset of A? Is everything in B contained in A? No, it's not. Three, yes. 7, yes, 11, yes, but 15 is not in set A. Because 15 is not in set A, B is not a subset of A. The second question says that set B is simply the number 3. Is B a subset of A? Well, yes, it is, because everything in B came from A. And this is the basics of set notation, set theory, and working with sets and subsets everything you need to know to get started.